Being pulled over in the morning. Don't really know why. Can you turn the car off for a second? The reason I'm stopping you, you don't have any inspection, plus your windshield's tinted. Yeah. That's all. I'm not going to get into the tinting. That's dangerous. Why don't you have the car inspected? Uh, because I bought it in Ohio, and honestly, I just haven't have gotten it done yet. When did you buy? Several months ago. Okay, so yeah. you, you know, let right. me see your paperwork All you right. got. Where do you live? I live, uh... You yeah. haven't gone through Mount Lebanon this far, have you? Oh, several times. And they haven't banged you for the tent? No. They're going to destroy you one of these days. I mean, right. I could write you for all this because... Right. Mainly, it's the windshield. Right. That's super dangerous. You got sunglasses on. I mean, it's yeah. like driving at night, and I can't imagine you can see at night. Well, the thing is, yeah, you know I, I, mean? I the thing. I mean, I get it, but I see just perfectly. I bought the car this way. I haven't done it myself. Right, right. I get right. that, right. but that doesn't mean that it's legal. No, I know. Know, it that way. I know. I'm not gonna bother with the tint. All right, okay. But uh, the inspection, that. that's a different story. Yeah, you know, you got there, there's no reason why you didn't get this no. Inspected. I mean, I, I've just been lazy with it to be honest with you. Okay. I mean, it's not like I have an illegal exhaust or anything. No, like no, I mean, no, it'll pass. No, I, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's really that's I didn't see it, and right. I thought, well, maybe because the windshield's tinted and you can't even see the inspection, oh, which makes yeah. it. But I'm surprised right. Mount Lebanon. No, somebody's going to get you up there. I can guarantee it. Okay. If you drive in Mount Lebanon, because most of us don't really bother with it. Right. You know, especially if they're not being a problem, yeah. but they do. Right. I can tell you them and Castle Shin. I've been warned by police before about Mount Lebanon police, like local well, here. There but you go. So but not with this car, another car. You know the truck what I'm saying? Guy. If you go into Mount Lebanon, they may end up towing your truck. They're oh, that wow. picky about it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, give me a second. All right. I'm just going to give you a written warning. You get this car and stuff in the next couple of days. Yep, yep. The problem is, they're probably going to have to cut the uh, some of that tin off to put the yeah, stickers on. Probably. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Give me a minute. All right. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of figured that this would happen eventually because, you know, the car is very tinted. I bought it that way. You know what I don't have from me is your driver's license. Oh. Damn, you got me. I'll have them. <laughs> I hope you have yeah, one of those. Yeah, I do, I do, I do. There you go. All right, thank you. So, yeah, like I said, um, I knew this was going to happen eventually uh, <laughs> because it is so tinted, but I actually like the privacy of it being this tinted. You know, it's many times I'm out driving it and people are, like, looking at the car, not, you know, saying that everyone knows who I am or anything, but they see the car and they like the car, and I kind of like it sometimes that, I know that I can't be seen because the windows are so dark. <laughs> but yeah, it actually took a little longer than I had expected to be pulled over in this car for the tent. I've had it since, when did, I, when, when did we buy this car? April, May? So yeah, it's been like three months. And in regards to the inspection, to be honest, I've just been slacking on that because I don't want them to cut in the tent because um, they're gonna have to. When your front windshield is tinted and in PA, you need inspection stickers right here. They're gonna have to cut in the tint. And that just doesn't look very good. So yeah, I've been uh, holding off on that, but <laughs> it came to bite me in the ass eventually. Now we got more police officers over here, but that's normal. They usually like have a buddy pull up or whatever, but it's all good. And the one time I'm out driving, I always have a GoPro sitting on the, the front windshield here. I took it off yesterday to put it in another vehicle. So I'm filming with my phone and it's, you know, portrait mode. So it's not gonna make a very good video, but whatever. All right, so here, oh, here's your information back. What's auto vlog? Uh, I run, I, warm you run or? I run a, a YouTube channel and a Facebook oh, okay. page. I have a automotive YouTube channel. So okay. it's called auto vlog. 
Okay. I just couldn't fit the O in the plate. Right, you right. Have... <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I need you to do. The reason why I stopped you is on the front. That's just a record of our stop. Right. Okay. Okay. I'll get I'll get it inspected yeah, just, here. ASAP. And you can take it to uh, any police department to sign off and then mail that back that you got it inspected. Okay. Okay. Just right. um, you know, it's a nice car. It's been draw attention. Yeah. But just know that uh, the tint is definitely. Yeah. No, I hear you. <laughs> I know. The thing is, like, I've had tinted cars before. I've yeah. never had this dark, and I, right. I haven't really had right. the front the, windshield. The windshield's an issue. I mean, right. safety-wise, especially at night. And as we get older, our eyes go bad, so, right. you know. Yeah. So just get the inspection taken care of, okay? Just, so I can drop this off. You, got, I, I don't, we're at, you can Scott take Township. it to Carnegie, Scott Township, whoever. And they, they just need to sign, sign off the, on it being inspected. Yeah, they're going to come out and see that you got the safety. And otherwise, you come to my house and arrest me, or what? If no, I don't, I'm not do coming <laughs> to your house. Just get it done with. Uh, yep, I will. Just get it done within ten days, so we don't yep. have to cite you. Yep, because that will. two tickets. All right. I will. Thank we'll you, sir. Ahead. All right. And I almost ran a red light there. <laughs> God, that would have sucked right in front of the cops. So right before I was pulled over, I was at a gas station. And I could see from inside the gas station that this police officer drove by my car, like in the parking lot. And then he kind of waited for me as I was pulling out. Uh, so <laughs> I don't know if, if, you know, he pulled me over because he saw my tinted windshield as I pulled out or he had like kind of spotted the car sitting in the parking lot of Sheets, the gas station. I don't know, but you know, like I said, I knew this was gonna come bite me in the ass eventually. And it did. It took a little longer than I thought it was gonna take though, but yeah. Just a warning anyhow, so I didn't really get a ticket. I, I can't really complain. It's not like I have to pay a fine or anything. We just gotta get it inspected. And there really is no reason why I haven't gotten it inspected except for they have to cut in my tinted windshield. Now I guess what I should add is that I assume that the cop was there kind of like waiting to see if I pulled out. I could be wrong. I mean, I'm not trying to like, you know, accuse him of doing something, but it, it seemed a little odd that I saw him drive by while I was in the gas station. Then all of a sudden he's sitting on the side of, he drove by my car that is, and then all of a sudden he's sitting uh, right on the side of the road when you exit the gas station and he pulls me over like instantly and it's 9 a.m. in the morning <laughs> I feel like you gotta be I don't know slightly bored in the morning or something pull someone over for 10 but hey it is what it is as you guys know if you've been following uh, along on the channel for several years I've been pulled over many times and I always you know mention that I do have huge respect for law enforcement and police officers like this guy here as well I mean he is just doing his job I mean the car is illegal with the tint and it, it is not inspected it needs to be inspected can't have front windshield tint and all that stuff so he is technically just doing his job and he was very nice I didn't get a ticket it was just a warning so yeah it was just a little weird just a little weird but enough about that we're gonna talk about this car because we have a winner for the C63 and today we're calling him and letting him know that he won. We're doing that right after I play golf though. All right guys, welcome back to the video. I'm in the truck. It's 4.56 p.m. I just finished a round of golf that took a lot longer than I had expected. We were behind a slow foursome and so on. And then, you know, it's around five o'clock in Pittsburgh, so I've been stuck in traffic all over the place. I'm trying to rush home here so I can call the winner of the C63. This is super, super exciting. Um, I hope the guy picks up. Otherwise, we're just gonna have to wait a little bit, but I hope the guy picks up as soon as I call. And I'm super nervous, you know. I've only done this type of thing once before. And uh, yeah, you know, you don't know exactly how the person's gonna react. You don't know if he's gonna pick up. And uh, yeah, here we go. As soon as I come home, we're calling him. It's a him. So I made it back home. It's 5.07, so I'm running a little late here, but we're just gonna get right to it. I'm gonna call him right now. Maybe he's like, what number is that? He doesn't know.
Welcome to the message management system. Please enter your mailbox number. Huh? Mailbox number. Okay, so he didn't pick up. And I've never heard, have you ever heard that as like a no. voicemail, to, in, like, no. thing? No, might not be the right number. No, oh, that's the number he put in. All right, so he didn't pick up. We're just gonna have to try here in a little bit again. And if he doesn't pick up then, I'll send him a text. See if he picks up. If he, I don't get a reply there, uh, I'm gonna have to email him if he left an email. I don't know if he did, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Um, and I figured this might happen because, you know, unless you follow me on social media where I've been saying like, you know, I'm calling this time, this day, keep an eye out for a 412 area code number. You might not, you know, know what number that is or you're not up to speed, so, so to speak. And, um, you know, obviously he is the initial winner and, uh, you know, I, I want him to pick up the phone, but there is... A, uh, there is alternate winners in case I don't hear from him or can't reach him within I have to you know find read the rules here but I'm pretty sure that it's seven days he has seven days to reply or pick up the phone or for me to get in contact with him so he can claim his prize if the seven days uh, pass there uh, is a second name uh, that you know I can call um, but you know, th that would kind of suck for him because he is the <laughs> original winner. So we'll, we'll give it another try here in about like a few minutes. All right, one like one or two minutes have passed there. I'm gonna try him right away again. Hello. Hello, TJ. Yes. Do you have any idea who this is? No. <laughs> My name is Mike from the Audible YouTube channel. Oh, hey. Hey, what's going on, man? How much? What you doing? Uh, I'm just sitting here at work. Oh, you're at work. In a uh, 4.6 liter, three valve, it's four. Oh, there you go. Well, uh, I'm going to cut right to the chase. I'm calling here because you're the winner of the C63. Really? Yeah, it's you, buddy. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I hope you're excited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the ironic part is uh, I've seen your post uh -huh. at the two days before Mark and my car was pissing me off. Okay. Of the four that I have, so I'm like, well, what the hell? <laughs> so that's why you entered, you mean? Yes. Oh, wow. So, hey, what other four cars do you have? I have an 03 Mercury Marauder. Uh huh. I have a 98 Ford Ranger. Okay. That is in the process of being lowered, and I had an 88 Bronco 2 with a V8 in it. Oh, sweet. And I have a O1 deal that was given to me that I don't really plan. Okay, well, now you have a fifth car. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, TJ, I'm not going to keep you for now. Uh, I'm going to let the uh, sweepstakes administrators know that I've talked to you, and then they're going to get in contact with you as well. And then once that's done, I'll get back in touch with you and uh, we'll finalize all the paperwork. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Well, uh, have a, a good continuous evening at work then. Okay. <laughs> all right, buddy. Yeah. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Well, there it is. TJ from Tennessee is the winner of the C63. Um, yeah, he seemed somewhat surprised, but also <laughs> kind of calm, to be honest with you. I was probably a lot more nervous than he was talking to me. So, yeah, <laughs> very, I mean, it, it's just so, so surreal, really, to have done all this. And then finally we have a winner. And uh, now the, the car pretty soon, I guess, might take a week or two, will be out of my hands and have a new owner. So, yeah, there it is. Congrats to TJ from Tennessee. You're the new owner of the C63. All right, so there we have it. I know this video has been kind of back and forth. Uh, it's been filmed during two different days. I had like a beard before and now I don't, different clothing and so on. But the giveaway is effectively completely over uh, because the winner has been contacted and everything is being put in motion with you know paperwork, all that stuff that needs to happen for him to be an actual new owner of the car. Now, I don't really know 
uh, what's going to happen in regards to him taking delivery of the car because it did tell me I just started a new job not long ago and he can't take or he doesn't want to take time off which I completely understand you know when, when you're a new employee there you don't want to just ask for time off um, right away so I get it but we're, we'll, we'll see you know I, uh, I'll probably just end up shipping the car down to him but it would be cool to meet up with him at some point have him on video, see him in the car, and so and so on. So hopefully that can happen. I'm working on continuing this, of course, uh, and getting another car. I just don't know exactly what to get. Should it be maybe a truck or a car? I mean, I'll probably do a poll on Instagram to see what you guys are interested in. Uh, you know, if we should do another car or maybe do a little truck build or anything like that. Not not something like super expensive, maybe like twenty five, thirty thousand dollar range, and see what we can come up with that would be fun but uh, yeah I'm not gonna babble on for much longer in today's video hope you guys have enjoyed it if you did you know what to do give it a thumbs up if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to please subscribe I'll see you guys very very soon bye bye